unboxing um, is children's books that are available starting October 6, 2020. They are distributed by Penguin Random House, but I believe they're all from Candlewick Press. Okay, let's get started. Uh, let's see. Uh, the first is this pair of board books, Hello Bear and Hello Whale. And they are full of flaps and facts, and they are both by Sam Bowden. And I think this is um, FSC. What is so? I guess it's an it's Templar Books, an imprint of Candlewick Press. Um, and so, as you can see, very fun illustrations, um, and featuring nature, and. Yep, here are all kinds of flaps. It's sort of like, um, almost like fun comic book, you know, casual, but they're sneaking in science. But they're doing it in a way that is, you know, sort of like, just looks like it's super fun. Um, so here we have, um, like, like large panels that open, um, as well as flap small flops that you lift so sort of you know here's a flop that you lift here with factoids inside so one is about bears so maybe more of um forest animals this one is whale so this is more about ocean creatures all right that looks great super fun the next one is also learning about um animals and this is creature features dinosaurs um, it is illustrated by Natasha Durley, so I'm not sure who the author is, maybe, I'm not sure actually, maybe because it's just all kind of like, it's more illustration than it is facts. Um, so this does not have flaps, but it is, um, you know, it's, it's very well designed. It's very colorful. So this is uh, pre prehistoric creatures who are grouped by features. So sort of like teeth, wings. Um, so this is all prehistoric creatures with fur, creepy claws. Oh, I see. So they, so they just sort of had somebody write um, like a little paragraph about the feature. Then they grouped all the animals together. Um, and but they are accurately named, but they are portrayed in sort of a fun way. And the design, the layout is very nice. So it's um, sort of a dinosaur book for kids. Um, you know, like my son who loved dinosaurs, he would maybe want more facts than this. Uh, but it's just a different way to slice and dice the dinosaurs. Um, so this is, I would say, this is more visual. Um, um, you can read the names, but there's not a lot of actual information specific to each creature other than, you know, the, you know, the, the feature of the animals. Um, but looks fun. All right, we have two more. The next one is Julian at the Wedding by Jessica Love. Oh, and this is great because I, I did a um, package reveal of this. Um, and I met Jessica Love at Candlewood Press at a lunch um, for her first book, which was, um, I have it actually right here, Julian and the Mermaids, or Mermaids. Let me pull it. I actually have it. Oh, Julian is a mermaid. So here is the first book, and now here is the second, and it is, again, the same character. This time he's at a wedding. And same beautiful illustrations and um, spare text. I think, I, you know, when I was at Candlewood Press at that lunch, I learned with the editor, who's very nice, um, the book started off with a lot more words, and then they, for Julian as a mermaid, and then they removed all the words and just, ha you know, tried to do like a wordless picture book, and then found like the story, you know, needed a few words, and then sort of added back words. So I thought that was really interesting how that story evolved because that, that one won an award. Um, 
a st Stonehill? Stonehill? Which one? Uh, LGBTQ one. Um, and this one has that same spare text um, where the story is, is largely told through the illustration. It looks like a story of friendship. Um, great. That one looks wonderful as well. And Jessica Love, if people don't know, she actually went to the Juilliard School for, for graduate school. Um, and she is an actress, Broadway actress, working Broadway actress. And I think because her part wasn't like so huge, but she still had to be there you know, all day long. Um, she spent that time drawing and that's how the book evolved. But I thought that was also, right, she was always art artistic as a child. But um, I thought that was like multi-talented. Um, and the last book is this very popular series, Princess in Black. Um, by Shannon Hale and her brother Dean Hale, and illustrated by Luen, Lu Yen, Luen Fong. I hope I said that right. Um, who I, I think the illustrator's like incredibly talented because she can illustrate in so many different styles. Um, and I mean, you see her work everywhere, but I just feel like she doesn't get the credit that she deserves. Um, but Shannon Hale was really nice to kind of give her a shout out. And I hope, I hope she gets more recognition um, in the years to come. But this is a wildly popular series, and I can see why. It's just, it's very fun because you have the princess theme, which, you know, girls this age are in early chapter books. They like princesses. It's, it's, sort of like, it's sort of like for the Disney princess crew, but who are a little bit more um, adventurous. And it has a great diverse cast. And they have these like kind of fun and funny adventures. I mean, they're not too scary, but there's just enough adventure. And then they have sort of the shtick where nobody knows that they're kind of these like, you know, superheroes. You know, they just sort of, you know, kind of like jump into costume when there's an issue and they kind of solve things. So it just it has the right mix. Um, it's, you know, of adventure and, and sweetness and diversity and, um, you know, sort of like the inside joke of like, no one knows who they are, but they are all, she and her group, they're all princesses who um, definitely do not need rescuing. So this is great. Again, all these books are available October 6th, available through Candlewick Press. Um, and thank you to Candlewick and Penguin Random House for sending these to me. Um, and thank you for watching.